one of the things that's so cool about Neil is he's the least pretentious filmmaker I've ever been around. So like for someone whose first film when he was 20, whatever he was, years old, got nominated for a bunch of Academy Awards um, and, you know, was treated as this major piece of cinema, he's incredibly unpretentious. I mean, the, 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 the filmmaking heroes for him are like James Cameron and Paul Verhoeven, even though he loves Stanley Kubrick and these other filmmakers, the, the models for him are unpretentious filmmakers, are genre filmmakers. So he's just telling a story that interests him. It happens to be, you know, infused with politics because he's a guy that reads as much online about the politics in some tiny country I've never heard of in Africa as he is interested in technology and robots and little boy stuff too. Neil grew up in visual effects. Neil was creating visual effects on his computer when he was 12 years old. Um, that's how he met Charlto for the first time. Um, Charl he started doing visual effects with this TV company that Charlto was a part of in South Africa. And then when Neil was in his late teens um, and early 20s, he worked here in Vancouver um, for a visual effects company. It's where he met a lot of the people that are now doing the visual effects for us on this film. So he is more fluent in visual effects than any director I've ever seen. In fact, than any uh, visual effect supervisor I've ever seen. I mean, Neil, if he had not turned into a director, would have been one of the world's top-notch visual effects supervisors, without question. I mean, he would have created technology, and in a sense is creating technology, um, that will move the visual effects world forward. I think Elysium resembles District 9 in that it's a science fiction movie um, that is, uh, ultimately has a political message as well. Um, but it's just a much bigger in scope, um, both I think visually bigger in scope and maybe thematically bigger in scope than District 9. But it's a continuation of if you like District 9 and you like Neil's work, I think it'll just feel like he's playing on a slightly bigger playing field with some new issues that interest him.